Hello boys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how you can make country belt animations using Scratch. Let's get right into it. Alright, now that we have our editing software open, let's just pull up Scratch right now. Alright, so we're just going to be looking up Scratch. Head in here. By the way, I also have a Scratch account, so follow me for more projects. Okay, so this is what we're going to be making at the end. Just a very simple and very easily implemented animation. So, let's get right into it. Let's delete all of this. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to want to do is create a new sprite. Paint it. I'm going to name this, um, Austria Hungry Ball, <laughs> Austria Hungry Ball. All right. Um, and then we're going to, you're going to look at the circle tool and not fill it with anything and set the thickness to like 25. Let's make it out that big. All right. If you've seen those uncanny country ball videos where it has like the perfectly spherical country balls, don't worry, we're not going to be making those. What we're going to do is we're going to take each end and pinch it down a bit like this, kind of sag it, a bit less round, kind of like it's sitting on itself. You're going to want to enlarge in these ones too, just to give it some equal size, like that. There we go. You went from an uncanny alien country ball to what you normally see in a pulling ball comic. So now what you're going to want to do is leave this blank and then open up and upload a costume. Now, I already have mine uploaded, but for you, you're going to have to look up the flag you want to use. I'm going to pull up my Austria Hungry flag and open it like this. Let's convert this to pip. Or no, we're going to convert it to uh, bitmap in a second. You're going to want to shrink this down a bit like that. And then copy and paste your country ball into your second costume like this. Convert it to bitmap. And then you're going to want to. This is how you can erase vector images, just using them as a bitmap instead. Because if you try to use a vector, it's just not going to work. It's going to erase what you've drawn. So, yeah. You're going to erase that. Like this. Oh, yeah. There you go. And now, if you, you see these little edges here, that's not going to... You don't have to worry about those. You can just copy and paste the, the red part onto it like this. And then, if need be, you can erase this part just a little bit. I know it looks really weird, but I'll show you why this is important in a second. Um, let me just, I'll finish up the sides and then we can get into the tutorial. All right, so I'm a very cursed looking country ball. It's fine, it'll be normal. Let's just copy and center it and then copy and paste it into our thing, backspace it and then shrink it down a bit like this, like so. We'll enlarge it a bit at the sides just to get it to fit. Huh, okay, we have a problem. Let's erase some more of this. Oh, it's gonna be a bit. All right, so sometimes it may not fit. Just know that it's not you, it's just, well, it is you, it's your fault, but it's nothing to worry about. You can just backspace that and then slightly enlarge it. So, equal to size and there you go you have a very convincing looking austria hungry ball now to make it more authentic you might want to trace over the the uh, art just kind of use it as reference um but you also don't have to you can just leave it the way it is here in fact you might want to just increase that to give it more give it more authentic like that you could also just increase the size of the uh, fill just so that you get more like wiggle room to mess around with it like this this looks really nice I would personally make the black a bit off, like an off black, because it will look a bit off, or it will look a bit uh, strange if it's not like a bit more of an off black like color, like that. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna trace over our country ball. The best thing to do is to use the regular black color for the inside and then use an off black for the outside. So let's trace over it. I'll see you in a couple of minutes. All right, so I have my first one done. I've already gripped it, so we can just go like that and copy paste it. And there we go, like that. And then we'll just, we'll group these and then send them to the back layer like that and then group them with this. And there you go. That's a pretty neat looking country ball if you ask me. And you can leave it like this uh, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna make an eye patch. It's supposed to be like blinded like this. Like that. And then we'll just copy the same thing for the other side. 
Hopefully it's symmetrical, and it mostly is, honestly, to be honest. <coughs> there we go. We can group this all together to make it easier for us to animate, and there we go. We'll call this idle. Idle 1. Now, in order to start the animation process, we're going to have to duplicate this three times. And then we'll just shrink it down a little bit, and then we'll shrink it down a little bit more. This one. I don't want all two, all three. It'll be like that as an idle, and then it'll get mad. This will be this will be mad one. It was gonna name what it's doing. It'll have like a disgruntled maybe uh maybe these things shrink down a little bit like that. It's kind of funny. They get a little bit angry. Let's just import that into Scratch. I already have, or I don't. All right, let's use a viewer for so it's viewer 98. Images. I believe these were used in World War II, but I also have seen them in Battlefield 1, so let's just roll with it. This one looks pretty too- this one looks a bit too shiny. And then we'll put this in to scratch. Nice, it's transparent. If there's no white on the image, then it's transparent and you don't have to worry about it. Uh, making any background. Alright, we have our pew pew, and we're just gonna take it like this. Uh, uh, like that shrink it down flip it and then put it in the back like that all right and then we'll just bring it up to the front like this now with certain things like this you want it to be really smooth so you might add a ton of frames into just this one scene so I'll add like a I'll add like a third one where it's like kind of like going down We'll edit this one so it's a bit higher up. Yeah, but like, if you make it ridiculously smooth for no reason, people will like it and they'll stay watching. And then you can just kind of, then you can kind of just cheap out in the animations for the rest of it. Maybe we should add some smoothing frames to it. So we'll add like a, we'll, we'll not outline it, but we'll fill it with the same color as the gun. Like that, and then we'll just, just make little triangles out of it. Oh my god, that looks so good all of a sudden, I don't know why. We can, uh, can change it like that, and flip it too. Make sure to, uh, copy these and group them together, because we're gonna be using them a lot. And then we'll do it one more time. Okay, now that we have our frame, Let's go into scratch coding and do some coding. Uh, we'll do a broadcast and then let's call it idle. When I receive idle. So we have this now. This is editing Kaiser Bold. The footage was corrupted and so I had to jump to this. Uh, just pause the video and look at this code. Uh, sorry. Okay, it looks like he's trying to hump someone. So let's just do that and then we'll say this instead. Okay, it looks a little better. Let's do uh, 0 0.1. That looks kind of cool. All right. So now we have our idle. And then when we're done with our idle, we'll broadcast for uh, mad. Attack. When I receive uh, attack, repeat. Switch costume to mad one. And since we know there are seven costumes, we can just subtract the three from it. Or add the three and we have ten. So we'll say... Repeat until costume number equals 10. Next costume. We'll make a new variable called uh, attack speed. And then we'll set attack speed to zero, zero, or no, we should set attack speed at the start to 0 0.08. And then we'll wait attack speed seconds. All right, so it should go like this. That's pretty good, but it's a bit too slow, so let's do 0 0.04. That's still too slow. I like how it is. Uh, let's do 0 0.01. See how that looks. That's pretty good. I think we should do a bit slower, though. 0 0.025. Yes, that's awesome. All right. So we can group these together, or I guess we can't do that in Scratch. So now uh, that we have our thing, let's... Um, Let's start screen recording. 
So the first thing we're going to want to do also is go into backdrops and paint. We're going to want to have our backdrop be a purple color or like a blue because, um, well, let's just do purple because normally, uh, let's set this to zero, zero because, uh, the green screen effect that we're going to, we're going to get rid of all the background cost or get rid of all the background in CapCut. And it will, it will get rid of the entire costume because uh, the AI sees the white stripe in the middle and just thinks it's, it's not, shouldn't be there. So we'll add a purple kind of effect to it. And then there we go. We'll, we'll get this out of here. All right. So now that we have our thing, let's go into CapCut and get this going. All right. So we have our base clip opened up, put your clip into CapCut. And then the next thing we're going to want to do is go over to the remove background section, click on chroma key and drag it out. And there we go. Oh, oops, like that. We can move up the intensity to get rid of like everything if you want, like that. I really don't know what the point of that would be, but yeah, there we go. Now that we have our little country ball character, we can uh, crop out the rest of this image and just leave this part. Like that. And then we can shrink it down and center it. All right. Now that we have our little clip, we can go into, I, in my recent section, I do have screen of screen recording of ages of conflict. So we can definitely pull that in here. The same size, you could always just slow it down because it's not like you're going to be using any of the other UI that's in the game. So we'll just get rid of that and then we'll crop out this part. We can set the ratio to, if you want to make it a short, we can do this and then just go like that. There we go. And then we'll bring this clip up and bring this one down. And there we go. We have a little animation there's a couple things we can do the first thing we can do is add a shadow we can either do that like we can do that by just copy pasting it like this making it a bit of an offset like that setting it to uh setting the blend to 50 and then just going to adjust and then turning all of the settings down to make it black this actually looks quite nice indeed all right now that we have our base clip we can group this together and there we go oh oops, i meant uh create compound clip there we go we this is all we have to do because this is just our entire animation so we'll create compound clip of this and then uh, our short is done we can export it and then we will be good to go so yeah that's how you make a country ball animation in scratch so uh subscribe or i'll eat your toes